Saboteur here. I'm going to show you how to beat the white clad noble in Black Myth Wukong. Stick around, there's two phases to this fight, and I'll show my stats at the end as well. One of the key things to keep in mind is to time your dodges, because he does have a lot of delayed attacks, and a lot of them are from a ranged leap forward towards you, where if you dodge too early, you're going to get hit. Now apologies for my microphone, my normal headset has broken down, one's on order, I'm just using normal mobile phone headset. This boss is quite fast, so I'm mainly using my light attacks on him and of course the magic skill abilities that you've unlocked. So you can change those abilities at any time and respect at a keeper's shrine, so just be aware of that. Now one thing you may want to do as well is just before this boss fight where the wooden plank walkway was, halfway down there's an enemy you kill and there's going to be a cutscene with a new NPC in a cave to the right. If you go in that cave, you'll be able to upgrade your human gourds as well. So that's another thing you can keep in mind before taking on this boss. But the main key is to dodge at the last moment. If you dodge too early, he's going to get you. Stick around for phase two, and I'll show you my stats and what skills I'm using at the end. Now you shall face what I truly am! Phase 2 now, don't forget to keep an eye on your magic down the right there. As soon as that's available, put him in stasis and get him the best combos. Again, I'm mainly just using light attacks and some abilities I'm using I'll show you at the end of the clip. Again, he does have some long lunges forward towards you from a distance, so get rid of the dodge at the last moment like that and that way you won't get hit. If you dodge too early, he's gonna get you. Another thing to look out for is your stamina bar, the bottom bar down the bottom left there. While you're using your combos, you wanna make sure that you've got enough left over to get rid of the dodge, because you can't just keep spamming your attacks. You need to get ready to dodge, because you'll get to know his pattern when he's about to hit you with a delayed attack, because you're gonna need to dodge out of the way after spending a lot of stamina on your combos. Okay, I hope this guide is helping, but like I said, it's just timing of dodges, and now is the time to get used to them, because I guess it's only going to get harder from here. Hope to see you all next time, stick around, thanks for watching. Okay, stick around for my stats. I've mainly invested in stamina. I like using a lot of dodging, so that way my stamina doesn't get depleted so quickly. And I've got some in martial arts.